Hey Jack, tell our art friends what we're gonna make today. A big mouth pumpkin. A uh, pumpkin with a big mouth. We're gonna use a lot of the same steps that we used on our cute scary monster where we folded the paper and then we pulled it out and it was scary. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You ready to start? Yes. First step we're gonna do is we're going to fold our paper in half. We're gonna take the top edge and line it up down to the bottom and then crease it. And I like when I line up the edges, I usually will run my finger right down the middle and then out to the sides. There you go. Nice and crispy. Good. Crispy. Now we're going to take the, the bottom edge, the top edge, and we're going to fold it up here. This is the exact same steps for our monster. If you guys haven't seen that, we'll be sure to leave a link where you can check that one out too because that was way fun. Yeah. There you go, good job. Now that we have all of the folds done on the first paper, we're gonna use an extra piece of paper underneath so that our marker doesn't soak through and get onto our table. Now we're first gonna draw our pumpkin face. We're gonna draw two triangles. We're gonna draw them uh, right here on the top piece. So this top flap, we're gonna make sure that the eyes are up here. So let's draw two upside down V's. I'm gonna draw them like this, like that, and then one like that. Yeah, leave a little space. And then we can connect the bottom on each upside down V so that it looks like a triangle. Now I'm gonna add, also add a nose. Now this one, I'm just gonna draw, you could draw a different shape, but I'm gonna draw a V and then connect the top. You could actually do a circle if you want. A circle. <laughs> now we're gonna do our pumpkin's mouth. We're gonna start over here on the, on the left side and I'm gonna draw zigzag lines for the teeth. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way over to the other side like that. Good job. Now let's draw the mouth that comes down to, and it crosses over to the bottom piece. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that connects those two lines together. Perfect. Now let's draw the outside of our pumpkin shape. We're gonna draw a curve right here in the middle. So I'm gonna draw it like this. We're kind of running out of room for our stem, but we'll, yeah. get, we'll get it in there. Then we're going to draw another curve down here at the bottom that kind of matches that top curve, but upside down. Now we're going to draw the outside shape. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a big curve that comes around like this and then connects to that bottom curve. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Draw a big curve that comes around crosses over and then connects down at the bottom. Oh, that is the coolest pumpkin shape. Yeah. Now let's add a little stem. It's gonna be super small. So I'm gonna draw a short line on this side. I'll draw a long diagonal line on the other side. It's getting a little closer and then we can connect the top. Perfect. Now let's open it up and we should have half of the pumpkin up here at the top and half of it down here at the bottom. So the next step we're gonna do is connect the top down to the bottom. So let's connect like this, draw a curve that comes down and connects down there. We'll do the same thing on the right side. This is so much fun. I love doing this on the monster. Yeah. <laughs> now let's connect the mouth. I'm gonna draw a crazy weird mouth that comes down like that. Kind of makes an S curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now we did it. So when you close it like this, it's a small pumpkin. And then when you open it up, it's got a ah! <laughs> big mouth. <laughs> All right, now let's add a few more details to our pumpkin to make it look more 3D. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw another curve that goes right next to this one. And don't connect it at the bottom. Leave a little gap down here at the bottom. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Repeat that same step. Draw a line right next to it. This is this makes our pumpkin look thicker because when you carve it out, you can see the thickness yeah. on the face. Okay, now we're gonna connect these two. Watch this, I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that matches 
the bottom one that we already did. Now this is because we're looking down at our pumpkin so we can see the edge of the teeth. <laughs> now up here, let's make these look 3D. We're just gonna draw a line. Look at that, that connects over to the other side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the next one. Now if you have a tooth right in the middle, we're gonna leave that one off and we're gonna switch the lines going the other direction. So let's start over here and we're gonna connect a line like that, comes over and we'll do another one over here on this side. I know that was a little tricky, but you guys at home can pause the video if you need to and rewind it and rewatch that. So that makes the teeth look more 3D. Now let's add the thickness to the eyes and also the nose. I'm gonna add another triangle inside the eye like that. So just draw it on one side. Whoops. Yeah, no, that's good, you did it. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Whoops. No, you're, <laughs> that's all right, you got a little, it's a little tricky, isn't it? Yeah. That's okay, when we color it, it'll make more sense. Now for the nose, we're gonna do the same thing, but watch this. I'm gonna just draw a V inside like that. Oh, and I totally forgot you have a circle. So you could actually draw a circle that touches the top and it's oh, smaller. Yeah. That way it looks like it's in perspective. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It looks like a crescent shape at the bottom. We're going to add one last thing to the details. We're going to let's connect these little corners on the teeth down here at the bottom. <laughs> All right, we did it. We finished our pumpkins and they look 3D. They look like they've been carved out. They look awesome, especially when you close them like this and then you open them back up. They got a big mouth. Ah. Ah. And we're gonna draw a bat inside of our big pumpkin mouth, but we wanna challenge you guys to use your creativity to draw something else. You could you could do whatever you want. You could draw Halloween candy. What else could they a draw? Burrito. A, a burrito. A <laughs> burrito? You could draw a burrito. That would be awesome. Then ask your parents to take a photo of your drawing when you're all done and you've also colored it and post it to Instagram and use the hashtag AFKH challenge. AFKH challenge. That way we can see all of your awesome creations and to see what you put in your pumpkin mouth. All right, you ready to draw a bat? Yes. Let's do it. All right, we did it. We finished our bats and they look awesome. Now we fast forwarded that part so that you guys at home couldn't follow along with us because we want you to draw something else. Now, what do we still need to do to our drawings? Color them. Yeah, they're gonna look so much better colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our pumpkins. They look so cool colored in. Now, are you ready to surprise our art yes. friends? Yes. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I added a lot more bats to mine just because I thought it would be fun. But I love how you left it. Just that little guy right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the cool thing about this project and that's why we're challenging you to draw something different. You could add a lot of candy. You could add a bunch of candles or even what? Burritos. Yeah, you could add a lot of burritos. You could add three burritos. Or 29 burgers. Or a bunch of burgers, yeah. And we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own pumpkins. Big mouth pumpkins. We can't wait to see what they draw in there. Yeah. So. Can't wait for the burritos. The burritos. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.